Hello guys, I'm Ecar Santos, aka Happy Car 95. I'm doing another video once again about our travel or our road trip to San Diego, California. So I believe it's day two or day three in which we did our road trip. So we're the this segment will be about our sightseeing at Louisiana and Texas. So before I ever get to it, I'm gonna tell you a little bit of fun facts about this Louisiana. So it's basically the home of the Lewis and Clark expedition and where the Louisiana purchase came when uh, I believe Napoleon Bonaparte well <laughs> I might be wrong but that's as far as I can go because uh, my low IQ can't comprehend what I'm trying to tell you guys but but hey eh. It has the Louisiana River, you know, comes from the north of the United States and then the south. Not the Louisiana River, Mississippi River, come on. Come on, Mr. Santos, you got this. But otherwise, let's move on to Texas. Well, Texas may be the Lone Star State and everything is bigger in Texas. My sister kind of complained about six lane roads and all that and their interstate system <laughs> well I gotta agree with her Texas was a headache for her you know and I think I had a headache too because lots of people were driving people were crazy and all that trying to switch from the far left lane to the far right lane I mean we were in traffic for a long time <sighs> While we were there, and basically, not, my sister says there wasn't much to see, but for me, I really enjoyed Texas, you know. And the place we had dinner was some uh, ramen noodle place, you know. It was a. I don't know what country it was that we've got our food from maybe Korean, you know, or some Asian restaurant. So. so let's move on and see what photo I have. So as the title says, we were not in Louisiana left, but once we went to west of Mississippi, there wasn't much to see, you know, and it's frustrating when you drive miles and miles you just see grass, trees, and all that, and it shows in this picture, you know, and basically, my sister had to drive at least 300 or 400 miles when I tank of fuel, basically. I don't know how many miles, gallons, or that she drove, but it was okay. So, so this sign says welcome to Louisiana so and then the one below is in Spanish it says bienvenue in Louisiana <laughs> eh, I could tell it's not French because basically why would French people live live in Louisiana so <laughs> Maybe Spanish people too live in Louisiana, but yeah, they have for the sports team they have the New Orleans Pelicans, New Orleans Saints, and that's about it. So it's home of the Mardi Gras. This is exciting, but we don't go there since we don't have any have any family over there in Louisiana. So, but I can tell that my mom's former boss at Nexcom. He used to live in Louisiana, have family in Louisiana, so. And it's also home to Popeye's Chicken, so. But we didn't eat at Popeye's ch Chicken ever since we left Virginia, so. Basically, that's just what I think, or the history of Louisiana, and all that, and kind of uh, interesting state, you know? Yeah, this is one of my favorite states, though. 
But Texas, Texas, one of my favorites because there's a racetrack called Texas Motor Speedway, and as you as much as I like NASCAR, next week they're going to a new racetrack, which is in Austin, Texas, the Circuit of the Americas. So I know you guys are, or a majority of you are not race fans, but I'm not going to force you to like NASCAR like I do, but I've done it for so many years to make sure you understand where I come from and get to know me well, and I know you. You guys don't mingle with me or talk to me about it. So, if you're brave enough to talk to me about NASCAR and so forth, go ahead. You know, everything being in Texas, there's lots of things to do. And many sports teams are located over here. Including Dallas, Houston, what else? Hmm, i trying to remember another city. Yeah, basically Dallas and Houston. So. Or San Antonio. There is San Antonio, but that's only for basketball. So Let's move on. So, <laughs> I give a wink face because I, I was lucky when Alex and Gabby saw something on the my side. And... Or the side, right side of my the SUV, and I was able to capture a water slide, you know. And I believe it was open when we actually took the snapshot. And basically, this is Texas, and Texas is a very hot place to live in, you know. And and most of my uncles and aunties, they say many people from California are living in Texas right now, so. I don't know why that is, but it's basically what most people agree upon or their opinions about moving from California to Texas. So, but pretty much it's just like a state of, I would say, lot many things to do, you know. There's lots of foods to go Many restaurants to go to, many sporting events, many uh, interesting colleges to go to. If you live, do live here and you have kids that you want them to go to school here, I mean, one of the, I would say one of the cleanest cities as far as going to their 7 Elevens or going to any of the major restaurant chains over here. They do have a Whataburger, which I know they'd sponsor David Starr's race team in NASCAR, so gotta put that up there because NASCAR is my thing and I basically know all of the companies that sponsor NASCAR race teams right now, so, so that's basically all I have to say about what Louisiana and Texas is all about, so I make a Capricorn and I-5, y'all have a great day and peace out.
So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content and if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95. You'll have a great day and peace out.